Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Ike and this is still the blind playthrough and this is still insane difficulty but we are deep in or deeper in the veteran mode. Can't stop playing the game it is just too much fun and I want to collect a bit more supreme loot. I am well aware that potentially uh, this will pique less interest as we are now collecting the loot on the other hand look guys there are a couple of really uh, great missions that were just uh, behind us and I'm trying a few more builds because that's exactly what you can do here really t uh, test uh, with uh, some more builds today I wanted to go in with Marcella enemies got a nifty 50 percent crit chance which means every single hit definitely is going to be a one shot and if we look at her build i was not happy with the raider build at all tried it uh, and just found it uncompelling i thought whether or not i would want to go down the assassination route again but it felt too similar to what we do on our main scout so um, I wanted to double check if the recon route combined with the deep uh, skilling into demolition expert is uh, any good. We went for free cloak uh, to uh, uh, retain the momentum. We, won't f uh, we went for extended cloak, the typical must have grenade skills. And then anticipation, which is great. Uh, and uh, although anticipation 2 gives you even more uh, skills anticipation one already helps you in some of the situations where you uh, just want to shift an action unit to the next turn and i improved sprint to sprint two i want to test that better sprint uh, haven't had a chance to uh, to get through that yet if she levels up then maybe we can throw in some obfuscate for some extra fun because uh, that would allow us to be a, even more of a yeah support because there is already plenty damage in that uh, frag grenade and that's pretty much it uh, I'm testing a bit of a new variant of a uh, tested and true and strided build this is the basic rescue find the locust torture pods free the prisoners get them back safe and maybe dispense a little justice along the way damn right we're going to dispense a lot of justice should have potentially edited her gear um, because we had upgrades but we can do that after the mission Good, time for mission dust, Goliath. Those one man or one woman missions are always a bit tricky because we gotta get to the grub pods first. That's a heavy and that's a vanguard. Okay, cool, gotcha. I think it's the same map Make as before. Count. Okay, well. Make it count. It's the exact same map as before. Two times same mission. A uh, bit of a difference in in modifiers. Bit of a difference in modifiers. I'm wondering. Go ahead. Should I pick up the epic case potentially? Yes, right. Well, that whole, that whole sprinting is great. It would be even better if you could sprint into the unknown. Now that's a bit of a problem. Affirmative. Okay, this time the pack looks quite different. Let's get the obvious things out of the way. Throwing prize. Is that all you've got? Fifty percent crit chance, baby. Yes, that's what we've got. Making ourselves invisible. Got some extra movement. And let's hit this guy hard. Okay, cool. So far so good. I mean, the grenade build still works wonders. I do not see any need to modify it too much. It's just so much head, head and shoulders above the other builds. 
which lets me wonder can another build other than the grenade build be effective potentially the answer is yes but it will be difficult to pull that one off so that's a kill Move into here. And we're shifting to next turn. So far, it really looks uh, incredibly solid. Jack moves down. And hides. Very good. The sniper should be dead. taking a shot here it's a good chance that this guy will die very nice very nice if we would have the other build now we could uh, we could use this here in order to reset stealth this guy here should die soon Getting into solid cover. Keep in mind they do have a 50% crit chance. Throwing frag. Nice little hunkering lost. And we're going to do something which is a bit lame but definitely works. Restealthing via the smoke cloud. It's just a really strong coordinated ability. Just when your one cooldown is is running, you essentially use the other cooldown. Uh, I think they can't even hit us in here. No, I think they can't. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Okay, look guys, this is complete different uh, gaming experience than in the hard fought battle before. Just going in and, and molesting them with grenades whilst being invisible. It's a strong build. For those types of missions in particular. And Jack just with his uh, with his ability to uh, cloak with uh, smoke just makes it so much stronger. All right, we're getting that other case. Next stop is the bridge, and whilst we're at it, might as well plant a couple of grenades. We got redeploy here. That's not bad. We can, we could use it this turn. I think the next um, enemies are coming here. That's at least what was happening the last time. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Two Theron guards. That's a strong set of enemies. Here. Okay, we are theoretically ready again. Solid copy. Um, yeah, can't can't do that yet. We could charge up. Uh, 
but we couldn't do anything whilst we were there. So gotta be a bit careful with that charging. Awaiting orders. On the flip side, the range is phenomenal. Good, I'm not kicking anyone because that will potentially uh, give away our location. Um, anticipate would be a fantastic Thank ability you. now for this turn. Unfortunately, our cooldown is not is not yet up. Ready. Understood. Heavy is careful because uh, those uh, Theron guards are a problem On if they it. come to close the explosions will definitely kill us and end that end that mission faster then uh, we could say what the hell just happened I see him. that's good that's good oh that's even better Beautiful, beautiful. Affirmative. Jump it over. Fuck off. Nice little kick. And this is what I would call a value grenade. Fire in the hole! Dead and gone. Nice chain reaction. Yeah. Ten percent, not good. That's potentially still not really good. But I tell you what, we do have a grenade. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah. Outgoing frag! There we go. Can Jack, by the way, pick these guys up? It would be fun if he could. But I think he can't. But just in case this guy wants to explode. remaining nine okay hear you loud and clear waiting orders on my way two torque bows it's just what we were looking for Jack begins to scout ahead. I think we can grab that without triggering. Here we go. Now it's our turn. Good. Charging in. Fantastic range on that sprint two. Not even sure what you need sprint three for. Good. Soon Marcella can Moving to turn invisible again. Uh -oh. 
Okay. More enemies. Can't really hit them from here. But we can go down there and take full cover. Out of reach. I'm ready. We got the exact counter weapon to to the, uh, their clustering up here. Let's make it happen. No problem. Hiding again. Okay. Heavy moves up. All right, let's try that again. Fully moving up, only one disciple left. Scout on standby. And we're soon going to get that Vanguard. This one is so much easier than the than the last one. Let's make it happen. is going to pick up the weapon that had been dropped here soon but first let's open that torture pot that effect you know what the Vanguard is going to pick up the, uh, the weapon, because uh, they have the lowest DPS. As impressively shown in the last mission. So they could really use the Torque Bow. Vanguard is Paladin Spect. We got stand together and a couple of other nice bonuses. Heads up! Locust activity. That's our target. Oh, more torque bows. On the move. Good. We're dropping the weapon here. And we got to be overall a bit careful. Yeah. These torque bows still can hurt quite a bit. Vanguard picks up weapon. And moves over here. Jack begins to move up. Starting uh, with the support aura. Scout 
here. And the scout moves Roger to that. here. I want Cloak to be up sooner. I read you. Bring it on. I'm ready. Raptor on the move. Good. So far, so good. Okay, so Cloak is back up. That's great. Jack could do what Jack can do best, which is support by giving everybody that extra action. On the move. We're moving up here. That's a easy. Uh, that's a very Alpha easy kill. Yeah, and scout does what scout does best, which is scouting. Charging in. Cloaking. Fire in the hole. And let's make sure this guy does not um, proceed. Roger that. <laughs> Gonna go all the way over here. 5% crit chance. Wait, I'm just double checking. We're not in explosion range. Fantastic. Good. Lower cooldowns. Orders. And let's see if this one works. Does not, but a hundred percent chance should work. Uh -huh. I thought so. Affirmative. He's down to seventy hit points. Cool. The moment that he begins to charge in, On it. he should be done and dusted. Conveniently enough, broke down so that we can get some extra AP um, out of him. Solid copy. Moving up. Where are the Theron guards? Oh, they hide up there. That's a. That's a nasty position. Do or die. Anticipation for next turn. We're going to have some explosives uh, readied up. Nah, we're not going to execute him. Yep. Okay, this here should still be far out of uh, reach. Reloading. Cover me. Bit of reloading and yeah, I don't think that anyone would uh, move into here, but who knows, maybe he revives for whatever reason. Here is a nice way of saying hello to both of them. Fortunately, yep. they are quite well hidden there. We can't uh, can plant another uh -huh. smoke capsular. 
would be an option. That's a miss. Moving closer, by the way, wouldn't really have changed much here. I was hoping for aim assist. That's it. All right. Go ahead. And I've used this, or I've chosen this strategy for Solid multiple count. reasons. One of which is getting in. more, getting more of our soldiers in reach. Peeled. Okay. Reloading. Could have taken a third shot. Next round, if they don't move, they will deeply regret it. Let's put it this way, even though they move, they will potentially still deeply regret it. Understood. Throwing frags. Dead and gone. Well, hello there. That was a much easier mission and super straightforward compared to the last one. I can conclude that grenade build is good. Did uh, the scouting uh, part of the build work on top of it? Yeah, absolutely. I can, I can see how they work together. You can even get away with less skill points because you are already on the right side of the skill tree. So you don't need the kind of full two additional skill points. Plus 200% crit damage. Okay. Well, that is a sniper scope. So as I was saying, you can potentially get away with more. By using a sort of build. I still haven't found any really good alternative to the grenades, which either tell us that the grenades with their low cooldowns are absolutely busted. Potentially they are. Or the other scout uh, trees are not as good that whole raider thing i i was reflecting a lot about it and it struck me it it, it it irks me that i haven't really found a way of making it work i hate it when things are under uh, underpowered um, oftentimes it's just using them wrong but on insane difficulty it seems difficult it seems almost impossible to uh, put to pull that off correctly so we we certainly got the freedom of choice here with all of uh, the uh, newcomers what i will say is we potentially have a few too many heavies and yeah, level fours really don't cut it. Um, let's see. Scout. One scout, two scouts, two scouts. Okay. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay. So heavies are definitely enough in here. We got two scouts, three heavies, one support, two supports. Could use a third one. Sniper and Vanguard only one. Okay, cool. Well, that gives us an indication. There's a level four sniper available here, a uh, level six sniper available. There we go. There's a level six Vanguard available. 
there we go level six support and let's just get one more sniper uh, so now we do have plenty of level six characters some level fives which is still fine nothing wrong with that and we got leveling yeah we don't need to level uh, the lower ones up yet Marcella um, or Marcella with her build worked well anticipation was great um, it could make sense to put obfuscate in here don't see a reason not to do it I still like that idea of uh, the escape route um, combination but that's already what we have in the other build so might as well try this build here grenades plus scout or grenades plus recon <clears throat> the recon portion by itself doesn't have really a leg to stand on so it wouldn't be my first choice but i can very much see how it can be like complementary uh, to what you're anyways doing this year with free cloak and just the utility makes it incredibly strong overall in terms of all of that blast zone i think we did have utility belt here and grenadier yeah she already has all of uh, the quote unquote best stuff no further grenade there okay cool so now to the main part uh, Mikaela just got herself i think a new item 40 damage is great, but 200% crit damage. That will increase the crit damage to 375%. Goes super well against our uh, with our uh, full crit build. When this unit hits an enemy with a critical hit, it also knocks it back. Oh my gosh. It's just getting better and better. How is this allowed? This is a, an Ill illegal equipment. 10% crit chance, yes, and crit damage here. Oh yeah, hell yeah, she's she's ready. She got the uh, legendary optics, that's good. All out is exactly what we wanted, and this is additional ammunition. So yeah, super happy with how she turned out overall. Uh, Gabe. I think we got a new fortress stock, 90 damage and final command. Yes, please. Ups him to 340 in damage. That is sick. He still has disrupt, which is great as well. And I still have given him that plus one, uh, plus 55 healing grenade. Not sure if that's the best choice, but you know. All de habits die, uh, die hard. He has uh, the hardened helmet. I like that extra health. On the other hand, I can see the critical damage um, bonus. Champion is good. That's also not bad. Is he really... Um, is he really executing that many enemy units potentially not so let's give him untraceable just in case he ever is hit by an overwatch shot yeah and this one was uh, was good there was a lot of evasion on him plus four uh, twenty percent evasion Let's see, and this one here was another 20% evasion. Well, that's already 40%, meaning he's likely uh, to be not hit at all. So I'll stick with the other one because evasion stacking seems great. We could go for even more evasion here with the advanced optics. That would open the battle hardened helmet. Advanced optics are not bad as well 
Let's try it for a bit. I think that with all of his uh, evasion... Yeah, he said 50% evasion. That means he's almost, even if he's standing in the open, he is better off as others in cover and it sticks. So he should not be hit often. We need something better here. The hair trigger is okay, but there is definitely something better. The flatliner worked uh, with uh, the general idea of killing someone. 100% extra crit damage is good. Although I might say that I also enjoyed the anticipation with uh, flat damage reduction. But that would go better again uh, with uh, the extended magazine. I think we're going uh, choosing going back to uh, to that. Uh, hot swap was good, uh, worked like a charm. Yeah, and he has critical hit resistance and so on and so forth. He is good. Uh, it's just fantastic. Fifteen percent damage reduction. Yeah, that self revive doesn't really help you. That's the problem. Those boots are great, but they are not good on legendary or insane difficulty, rather. We've uh, been through her. Disrupt, yes, we want that. Focus, yes, we want that. We got the zero in here, which was. Executes enemy, extra accuracy, yes please. And we got that brutality. She is well equipped. Uh, also got uh, the utility belt here for the extra AP, which is completely nuts. Grenadier and Gren um, Blast Zone. Yeah, she has all of the tools available. <clears throat> and finally, Quincy. Now, here we go. Thunder Handle. I love Thunder Handle already. Uh, 80 damage, that's great. And what's the Reaper ability going to do? This unit, ah yeah, that was 50% healing from uh, the Overwatch shots. I almost forgot about it. Hair Trigger, great. This here was great as well and disrupt we're not going to change it unless we got an epic one which also allows for disrupt yeah we got optics here which is fine for him stabilizer legendary and double down which again is absolutely fine He's, he's a tanky guy, but more so from his equipment. Good. Next one would be Fiery Basilisk for another veteran level, plus one veteran level. And uh, we are getting more and more supreme loot. 7 out of 20. That is good. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy the missions, uh, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you soon. Bye-bye.